Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to respond to a recent flurry of email requests to do a lesson where I demonstrate how to use the vertical lookup, the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Over here I've applied the VLOOKUP function in cell D1. I want to be able to look up the discount that applies to the quantity order. So I'm looking up the quantity ordered and I'm looking it up in an array. This is the array. It's our discount schedule. So I'm looking for the closest match in the leftmost column going down vertically. When it finds the match, then it's going to return the value in a column index. In this case, column index is 2. Our discount is in the second column of our array. All right, now let's put this to practice. Let's write a vertical lookup equals VLOOKUP. And let's use the control A function arguments dialog box. The value that we're going to be looking up is the quantity. We're going to be looking it up in an array. So let's highlight the array. But while we want the lookup value to be relative, in other words, as we copy this down, we want it to pick up the row A5, A6, A7, we want the array to be absolute cell references. One way to do that is to use the F4, the function for keyboard shortcut, to put dollar signs in front of the column dollar signs in front of the row. So that will stay frozen in place. Now, once it finds a match going down vertically in the leftmost column, we want it to return the value that it finds in the match in column two. Column two is where we have the discount schedule. We're leaving our fourth argument, which is an optional argument. We're going to take the default, which is to say we're looking for an inexact match. We're looking for the closest match. So let's click OK, and now we have 25%. We're ordering 50. So this is our lookup value. We're looking in the leftmost column of our array for the closest match. 50 finds its closest match in 49. We get then the column 2, which is a 25% discount. So in other words, another way to look at this is we're going to get a 10% discount when our quantity ordered is between 1 and 3 copies. We'll get a 15% discount when the quantity that we order is between 4 and 24 copies. So if we arrange our leftmost column in vertical ascending order, then and we're looking for the closest match and then return the column index. Now if you forget to use the dollar sign, so let's say that we want to have our discount schedule be on a separate worksheet, not on this worksheet, then what I would recommend is that you give your array a name. So let's call this schedule. Let's highlight it, type up here in the name box schedule, hit enter, and now we have a name range. So this time when we write our VLOOKUP, the lookup value is over here, comma, the arrange is our name. So schedule, and I like this in Excel 2007, it actually picks up the name ranges. We're looking in column two, right parentheses, click it, and now we'll copy this down. There we go. So that was our inexact match. Now what if we want an exact match? We want an exact match for an item number. I have a separate array over here on a separate worksheet. So let's first begin by naming the array. So re before we apply the name select it, notice that I'm selecting the values, not the labels. So let's call this master. And now notice that we're going to be looking up the description, which is in column two. So let's come over here and use our VLOOKUP. And we're going to be looking up this value, which is our item number. The array is in that names range, master. And remember that our description is in the second column, so in column two. This time, let's use the fourth argument. So the fourth argument, we'll type in false when we want an exact match. So we'll type in false, write parentheses, and there you go. Now, the beauty here is that when we use the lookup, here it's returning the product name of Alpha Apples. What if we were to change the name, make it Alpha Acorns, let's say. Now, when we come back here into our lookup, there you go. It's automatically picked that up. If we wanted the quantity on hand, quantity on hand is in the column index 4. So equals VLOOKUP. 
and we're looking up this value in the array which we named as master we want to look up the quantity on hand which is in column four and again let's make this an exact match and now you'll see 4105 and that should match a 101 has 4105 on hand so there you've learned how to use the vertical lookup function, the VLOOKUP function. It's really one of the essential functions that you need a master. And I show you how to do that in my series, The 50 Best Tips. And I'll see you in the next lesson.